Let's make this project left-handed. Ciao friends, Beth with Thimblehooks, I'm back. Uh, hopefully some of you uh, actually missed me. Um, our family, my whole family of six, got the virus. We were, we were sick, we were pretty much down for a month. So I got a little behind, but I was still working on quite a few projects. And I thought it was fitting, since we had the virus, that I would give you a tutorial on how to do the virus blanket. You know, some people think it's it's very intimidating and it's scary and there's no way I could ever do this and it's really easy. I was working on this one when I was sick. I am on, let's see, this is the pr pr Premier Puzzle. It's a five weight. I was using a six millimeter hook on it. I was working on this one for a couple of days. Isn't it beautiful? I love these colors. This is uh, skein number four of my premiere puzzle. This one is um, called Crossword. But since this is so swirly and has so many color changes in it, this is not a good one for doing a tutorial. I'm going to go back to, I'm gonna move that one aside. It's kind of hard to see the stitches. This is Karen Simply Soft, just solid colors. So it's very much easier to see the different stitches. You can see there's the first round, there's the second round, there's the third round, and I'm going to show you how to do the first two or three rounds and how to change colors. And really what you're looking at here is just kind of a kind of a fancy granny square. Don't be scared. Don't be intimidated by this. It's really, really easy. So I'm going to put this one away and I'm going to get out a different, I'll get a different color for fun, since I've been looking at the Premier Puzzle and the the strawberry. I'm getting out. I think this is pistachio. Yes, it is pistachio, pistachio. If it's in Italian. So I've got Karen Simply Soft, Off White, and pistachio. So I'm going to use these today. And when you're doing this, you just want to use the suggested hook. So this one's a five. So here's a five. If you want it to be a little bit more light and airy, you can move up to a five and a half or even a six if you wanted to. So it'll just be a little bit more flowy. But I'm gonna use a five, just like normal. And we'll start with pistachio, the pistachio. So you can see a little bit better than off-white. And it really, really is easy, I promise. So we're going to work on the middle part right here first. So what you do is, of course, you make a slip knot any way you wish to make a slip knot. On my 5 millimeter hook, because it matches the band on my Karen Simply Soft Pistachio. And Round one is really simple. You're going to do this in little steps. The first three rounds, really all you're doing is kind of making a coaster or a circle or a, any kind of a, a any kind of a coaster or a little scrubby towel or something. So we chain six. I'm going to move this guy over a little bit so I can show you that we're just working on this center part right here. So we're going to chain six. One, two, three, four, five, six. There's our chain six. And we go back to the very first chain and we're just going to do a slip stitch so we have a little circle. Now we have a ring. See? There's a little ring right here. We're going to work into this ring. I've got my tail. In the way. We're just going to work around the tail a little bit too. So just kind of hold this right here, get it underneath these first stitches. So we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And this will count as your first double crochet. So now we're going to do 19 more in this ring. So this one counts as the first one. So now we're going to do a double crochet. 
and we're going to go around that beginning tail and do a double crochet. Now we have two. One with our first chains and two. So we're going to go all the way around till we have 20 total. So there's three. Four. There's number 20. Now we're just going to slip stitch into the third chain here. One, two, three. Just slip stitch so you complete your circle. Actually, I want to go through the other loop. I'm going to go through the inside loop, not the outside loop. So we're just going to slip stitch right here. So now we have a circle. Easy peasy. Now for round two. See the round one is done. Yay! Okay, round two, chain three. Now we're just going to do an increase. Like you do it any other time you make a circle. You want to put two stitches in every stitch so it increases. So this was 20. Now we're going to end up with 40. So we chain three and back into this exactly the same spot. double crochet. And there's two in that spot. Now over to this stitch, and two double crochets in here. And then the next stitch, two double crochets in there. That was stitch number three. So we're going to go all the way around. We'll meet you back over here after you have 40. Remember, two double crochets in every existing stitch and you'll have 40. So I'll meet you back there in a minute. Alright, I'm at 38 now and there's one more little one right here. Sometimes it gets pulled in pretty tight. So you want to make sure you get into this guy too. Right here. Right here. Because if you're off count here on this very first round, you'll be very sad nothing will line up. So let's just count them really quick. There he is, 40. All right, so then all you need to do is slip stitch into that third chain. Sometimes it gets a little tricky, especially when I'm trying to keep my hands on camera. But there's a slip stitch. There, we just made a circle. This isn't any different than making any other little circle. Very easy. Right, so there's our round two. There's round two. Round three is chain three for a double crochet plus one. Because every one of these stitches is going to have a chain space in between. So we've got one, two, three, four. The first three are the double crochet. The last one is, is a chain. So we want to go in here, the very first chain, or the very first stitch. There we go. Two. There's 
a double crochet and a chain. A double crochet and a chain. And a double crochet and a chain. Do that all the way around. I'll meet you back over here at the very beginning. Now here's my last two stitches. There's my chain. So there's 39. Double crochet and a chain. And 40. Double crochet and a chain. And now in this one, since there were four chains, we want to slip stitch in the third chain so we still get our little chain space right here. Still want to do that third chain. One, two, three. Just a little slip stitch right here. Just to close our circle. Oh, and I missed. Just a slip stitch in that third chain to close our circle. There. See? Easy peasy. Now it just looks like a coaster. So we're I've already made it through round three and it's not scary. It's not scary. It's easy. So now we're actually going to start making the virus part. So what we get here is, I'll show you on this one. We just made this. Round one, round two, and round three. Now we're going to start doing this part right here. So you end up with some with four corners. Really simple. I will show you. I promise this is easy. All right, at the very beginning, you want to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Now we have to single crochet into these chain spaces, not into the stitch, the top of the stitch. We're actually going to go in the chain spaces. So we're going to skip this first one right here and go to this one. So skip this guy. We want to work into this one right here with a double crochet, or I'm sorry, with a single crochet. So right, we have our chain five, skip this one, and single crochet right in here. I'll show you what you have here. What you have is the first half, right, right here, you're making that. There's the first half of a corner. So after you do your chain five and a single crochet, then we do chain three. One, two, three. And the same thing. Skip this chain space, single crochet in here, and do that twice more. So in between the fives, there's always between the five chain space, there's always three, three chains. So there's one, two, three, skip and single crochet. That was number two. And then one, two, three chains, skip this and single crochet in here. That's going to happen every single time in between the five. So it doesn't matter how many rounds you've got, you're always going to have three chains, three of these when you're adding your corners in between every five. And I'll tell you exactly what that means when we get up here a little bit further. So now that we have, there's a five, and then there's a three, and a three, and a three. So our five chain space, this is half of a corner, and this is down the side. Now we're going to make the other corner. So we're going to chain five, one, two, three, four, five, skip this one and work in here. Single crochet. Skip one chain space and single crochet in the other one. Now to make the corner, a full corner, right here, do that twice. So we're going to do another five chain. One, two, three, four, five. And we skip this and single crochet right in here. So that was a full corner now. There's the half of it. This is the side. It's one, two, and three. Chain three spaces. And there's a corner. It consists of two five chain spaces. Now we're going to work down the other side. Work down another side to the next corner. So we have to repeat this again. 
So after your corner, we've got one, two, three, chain three spaces. One, two, three chains. Skip this first spot and single crochet. One, two, three, skip and single crochet. One, two, three, skip and single crochet. All right now we have three of them again. There's our corners. And then one, two, three, down the side, three chain spaces. So next we would have to do another corner, which is the fives. One, two, three, four, five, skip, and single crochet. And do that again, because we need two of them in every corner. One, two, three, four, five. Skip and single crochet. Now I'm sure you've already understood how this pattern's going. Now that we have another corner, we have to do the side. So we're going to do one, two, three chains, skip and single crochet. One, two, three, skip, single crochet. One, two, three, skip and a single crochet. Let's make one more corner now that we have, there's our corner and there's our th three chains, three, three chain spaces. So now we do one, two, three, four, five. Skip this space, single crochet. And do that again, you always need two in a corner. Three, four, five. If it's a corner, it gets two. If it's not a corner, We'll talk about that in a minute. But if it's a corner, you need fives. Two fives chain spaces. And the one, two, three. Skip single crochet. One, two, three. Skip single crochet. One, two, three. Skip single crochet. And now we're back to the beginning where we have to finish that corner. Remember we did the first part of the corner right here and then we worked this way. So now I have to do the other half of the corner because we always have the two spaces. So we're going to chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Skip this one, single crochet. And now to finish off this round, we just want to do a slip stitch into that very first chain five space to even it up a little bit. So there you go. Corner, 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 corner. There's a corner. There's a corner. Here's a corner. And here's a corner. And there ends round four. All right, so let's try round five. So we slip stitch just to even everything up. We slip stitch into the very first one. And we're going to chain three. One, two, three. And this is our very first double crochet of the next grouping. Inside this five chain loop right here, we're going to put, since this one already counts, an additional nine double crochets. So here I'm going to go in that chain space and double crochet. So since I had one here with my chain three and this one, I'm on number two. Chain three counts as a, as a double crochet and then a double crochet there. So there's two. We go three, four, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 
So we did nine double crochets plus the chain three at the beginning, so that counts as ten. This is going to happen in every chain five space. You're going to put in ten. If you're at the beginning, you have to count that chain, the chain three, but they're always going to end up with ten stitches in a five chain space. And when you get to the chain three spaces that are in between, this is easy. You just jump right to there, single crochet, chain three. All of this is all about three. Chains, uh, there's a single crochet, chain three. And a single crochet. So you're going to end up sing single crochet into each one of these chain three spaces with the chain three in between. So now you have two spaces here. We're in that first row, in that other row. Round four, we ended up with three. Now we're taking it down to two. Hey, look, we're back at five chain space. So that means we have to put in ten double crochets because it's a five chain space and that's the rule. There's one and ten. There you go, ten double crochets. But look, another five chain space. So ten more without anything in between. Just jump right into it. There's one, there's two, there's three, and ten. So when it's happening at the corner then, you end up doing 20 double crochets because you have two. This is a corner. So each five chain space gets 10 double crochets. Well, this is not a double, this is not a five chain space. This is a three chain space. So he just gets a single crochet. And a chain three in between single crochet into this chain three space, chain three, single crochet. So there you go. There's a corner right here and then we're working down the side again. So a single crochet into the three, chain three, single crochet into three, chain three, single crochet. Now we're back to a corner. So what we do in the five chain space is ten double crochets. It happens every time you run into a chain five space. You will always put ten double crochets and ten. And what's that? A five chain space. So again, go right into it. Ten double crochets. Nine and ten. So there we are again. There's a corner. Now we had our th chain three spaces from before. So down this side, since there's chain three space there, we've got our two chain fives. It just gets a single crochet because it's little, so it just gets a single crochet. One, two, three. Single crochet into the second chain three space. One, two, three. And a single crochet into that third. Back to a corner. Ten double crochets in the five chain space. Just jump right to it. No chain in between or anything. Just jump right in to double crochets in our chain five space. And ten. There's half of our, half of that corner because this is a chain five space. You can tell because it's a little bit bigger. Just jump right in through here. Ten double crochets. So there's one and ten. So we finished the corner. Now we're back to another edge of one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So inside the three, chain three spaces, all we do is a single crochet because it's small. It's just the edge. It's the side. So it's a single crochet. Jump right there. Jump right over. Chain three in between. Do that one more time in the second chain three space. 
chain three and single crochet into that chain three space. Now at our very last part, this is a chain five space. We're going to meet up with the and do the other half of our very first corner because there's always two in a corner. You start with a half a corner and you end with a half a corner. I think that's the part that gets the most confusing. So just jump right in with double crochets and again since it's a five chain space you need ten of them. There's two and Now we want to close this little gap up so this this round is done to slip stitch into the third chain. Isn't that beautiful? Looks just like this. All right, so that was round five. We're going to go to round six. So we're going to chain three, and we're going to double crochet in every double crochet. So we want to have ten. So the easiest way to do that, so you don't get off, is you can go back here where you made this one. This is our last double crochet right here. We go one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine. I'm going to work in this stitch right here because our chain three is going to count as a stitch. It's going to count as a double crochet. So there's a double crochet. This is number three. This is number four. was in the previous double crochet. So that's going to happen on the top of every corner for this round. This is round six. So on the top of every corner we're going to do a double crochet on top of the previous double crochet. When we get to the sides, they're little so they just go jump right into a single crochet because they're just little. Single crochet and chain three in between, and another single crochet in that other one. So now we've got a little, kind of like a little pyramid here. There's three chain three spaces, and then in this round there were two chain three spaces. Now in this round we've got it down to just one. So now that we've got our edge done, or our side done, I'm going to jump right back into this double crochet in the top of every other double crochet that from the previous round. So it's just easy, easy peasy. So this is our first double crochet right here. This is part of this is part of the chain three space. So you want to go right in here. That's where we're going to do our double crochet. That'll be our first double in this corner double crochet. So for every one, we're going to end up being 20. 19. And our last one is in the top of this very last double crochet from the previous round. There's number 20. We'll work down the side again and when you get to the chain three spaces, they're little so they just get a little stitch. They get the single crochet with the chain three in the middle. You're making a little pyramid right there. And jump over and single crochet. So there's the three chain spaces. One, two, three. All as well. And there's two and now we're down to one. Jump right back in. Find your first double crochet of this corner and double crochet in the top. So all the way around for this round six you will be doing a double crochet in the top of a double crochet. You don't have to really count too much. I always count everything. It's like 
that I believe was number five. You just double crochet on the top of a double crochet. If it's a chain three space, it just gets a single crochet. The double crochets are only in the corners right or around on round six. Three, four, five, there's six, 19, and our last one goes in the last, on the top of the last double crochet for that corner. So you just continue. If it's a chain three space, it gets a single crochet. With a single crochet, chain three, single crochet. If it's a corner, it gets double crochets. So I'll meet you back right over here. Let's do that one more time. Single crochet, because it's little. One, two, three, and a single crochet. And you just jump back into this next corner. Find your first double crochet which is right here. Double crochet in the top, all the way around. You'll end up with 20 on this corner, just like the others. All of them are going to be the same. 19 and 20. We're almost there. We get back to this corner. So there's our last side with a chain three and a chain three. So, because it's little, single crochet, chain three, just like we always do in between the single crochets, and a single crochet. There we go. So there's a single crochet, chain three, single crochet. Now we're going to finish the last half of this corner. We already, this is where we started, so it already has this round on it. Find your first double crochet, right here and work in the top of it. We're going to do 10 for this half of the corner and 10. So there you are. We finished, we start with the first half of this corner and we end with the other half of this corner. I think that's where people get confused. Corner, 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 corner. Right now to close this up, because we don't want a big gap, slip stitch into the chain, into the third chain. Just a quick slip stitch. Just to close up that circle and attach everything to each other. There you go. Looks like this. We just did this one right here. So we have one more round to finish our four round repeat. So this one is again going to be just like we did right here where we did a double crochet and a chain, and a double crochet and a chain, basically going to do the exact same thing again. So we're going to chain up three, one, two, three, for the first double crochet plus another chain for the chain three space. And we want to get in ten of them. So we'll make sure you're in the right spot. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. There's our last double crochet from here. So it's easiest if you just want to count just to get this first stitch in the right spot. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. So I want to work in this very first spot right here. Double crochet. Boom and a chain one. And do that in every double crochet, all the way around there. Double crochet and a chain one. Double crochet and a chain one. So you'll end up with ten right here on this very first half of the starting corner. One, two, three, four, five, and a chain. And there's our last double crochet. There's no chain at the end of that one. Always a chain in between the double crochets, but not at the very end. Because it's we're not going to do another double crochet, so we don't need the chain space. We don't need so we don't need to do the chain. Oopsie, I'll show you how that looks. 
kind of an increase. You can see that has a little bit more space in it. The chain space just made it a little bit more airy. So this is again, this is round seven. Now we're going to skip this chain space completely this time. This last chain three space right here with singleton all by itself. There's these two little spaces right here. But this guy right here, we're going to skip him. So we have to go over and find our very first single or our very first double crochet and work straight into it with a double crochet. So again, double crochets on top of double crochets and a chain space. Double crochet on top of a double crochet and a chain space. Make sure you have 20, so let's just count them real quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, and 20, which is in the last double crochet, so that's perfect. Our counts are right. So you just want to keep doing that all the way around. Skip over this chain space right here, the singleton that's sitting here all by himself. He gets skipped this time. So you just go over and start your double crochets on top of all of the other double crochets. Jump, double, chain in between. So I will meet you back over here so we can finish off the other half of that one. Remember, every corner is going to have going to have the 20. So you can always stop and give it a count just to make sure you don't skip a stitch. We're going to skip this chain space right here and go over to our very first double crochet. Double crochets on top of double crochets and the chain space in between for round seven. And there's my last 120 with no chain at the end because we only want the chains in between existing in between the double crochets that we make. So therefore, there would not be one at the end. Skip this, and we're gonna do the last half, because remember, this is where we started. So here's the last half of that corner. We're gonna jump straight over, find your first double crochet, jump straight over and double crochet in top of double crochets, always on top of a double crochet and a chain. There's two and ten. Make sure you put that chain space in between and since this one has a chain space, so this is a chain four, we always are going to slip stitch into the third chain regardless of how many there are. That's most of the time, most rows are three, this one's a four, slip stitch into that third chain to close this round. So there's round seven. Round seven. Wasn't that easy? Told you it was easy. Double crochet in top of double crochets. Single crochets in the chain three spaces. You get the hang of it really fast. Really, really fast. So now this is the first this is the first complete one. Now we're gonna start a row repeat. It's a four row repeat. So we start with adding adding another corner so we can do this all over again and then we go around it with the with the ten double crochets go around it with the double crochets and do it again with the double crochets and a slip stitch or I'm sorry the double crochets and a chain space so we wanted to change colors we're gonna take the slip stitch back this is how you would change this is how I change colors we're going to add in, we're going to use the off-white now. This is the spot where to change colors, the best place. I guess you could really do it anywhere you wanted to. But again with that slip stitch. Oopsie, get that guy out of the way. Just a slip stitch in that third chain with your new color. So now you've closed that loop. We're going to use the off-white for the next round. So that means I am going to cut my green. Right now, 
so it doesn't get in our way. Okay, so now we're going to start over again. We're making a new corner for the next round. So when we make a corner, it's always a chain five. There's three, four, and five. Skip this chain space and a single crochet into the next one. So there's our chain five space, just like we did right here. And oh, they're always going to be the corners are always going to be a double like that. They'll always just keep going out and out and out and out. So that's the first half, but now we've got to do down the sides. So in between or after the chain five and your single crochet, so chain three, one, two, three. Skip, single crochet, chain three, skip, single crochet, chain three, skip, single crochet. Just like we did around four. So this is round eight. There's a five chain space. Three, three chain spaces. Well, we're not at a corner yet. We're right here, so what we need to do is jump across. This is going to be a chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Because in between a chain five space, there's the threes. If you have a chain three space or a chain five space, there's always going to be three in between when you're adding. So we've got our three. There's our chain five space that we started with. Chain three, chain three, chain three. Now by the rules of this pattern, you have to do a chain five. So there's our chain five. And you jump over, skip this hole, skip this hole skip this hole. So you're always going to skip over three of them. Boom, boom, boom. So it's a single crochet right there. So we just increased. Yay! Just increased for the round eight. Now since we just finished a five chain space and did our single crochet, chain three, happens every time. Skip, single crochet, chain three, skip, single crochet, chain three, skip, single crochet. So we did chain five, chain three, chain three, chain five, chain three, chain two, chain three, chain three, and now we're back at the corner. Since they're always going to go like this, we're going to just keep spreading out that way. Chain five, skip single crochet. And when you're doing a full corner, you do the exact same thing again. Skip and single crochet. So you can see the trick is. If you're at a corner, you do two. If you're not at a corner, it's just one five chain space. That's how it keeps getting bigger. See, the very first one has no, just has the corners. Round two has an extra. Round three has two extras. So you can figure out what's going to be on that round four. It's going to have three extras. Every one, you're going to add an additional one along the way and it's really simple. It makes it makes so much sense. It looks so confusing but it's so not. So there's our corner. Every time you come up with a corner, you know you have to do a double. All right since we just finished a chain five, the rule is three chain threes. One, two, three. Skip single crochet. One, two, three, skip, single crochet. One, two, three, skip, and single crochet. All right, well, we did our three single crochets, so the rule is we have to do a five, but we're not at a corner yet. 
So we're just going to jump across this space. One, two, three, four, five. And remember, you want to skip this, this, and this. Just like where you ended here, you want to start on the other side. So you skip this space, this space, and this space, and jump over with a single crochet. And we just did a five, so it has to be three threes. One, two, three. Skip and single crochet. One, two, three. Skip, single crochet. One, two, three. Skip, single crochet. Right now, since we finished our three, chain three spaces. There's the five. One, two, three. Now we check to make sure, yep, we're at a corner. Since we're at a corner, got to do chain five. Five. Skip, single crochet, and then you do that again. Because you got to have two. In every corner. Skip and single crochet. The yarn is being crazy. There we go. So see? Corner. Chain three, chain three, chain three. Well, after we chain three, we have to do a chain five because that's the repetition. And since we're not at a corner yet, we're just doing an increase. So it's a one grouping instead of a two. It's just one. Five double crochets, jump across. One, two, three chain spaces. Two five chain spaces on the corner. And I imagine that you're going to understand this one, what's coming next. Really easy. Skip. One, two, three. Skip and single crochet. Three times. One, two, three. Skip, single crochet. That was number two. One, two, three. Skip and single crochet. There was number three. So we did, there's our corners. One, two, three. After we do that set of three, we have to do chain fives. So one, two, three, four, five. Since we're not at a corner yet, we just want to jump across. Skip this space, this space, and this space. And single crochet. So you're really just filling this in until you get to the corner. Almost identical See? to round four. So we just finished a five. One, two, three. Skip. Single crochet. One, two, three. Skip. Single crochet. One more time. Skip and single crochet. Back at a corner. Therefore, it's chain five. One, two, three, four, five. Skip, single crochet. One, two, three, four, five. Skip, single crochet. So here we go. Now as the rules go, we need three chain three spaces. So there's one, two, three. Skip, single crochet. One, two, three. Skip, single crochet. Number two. One, two, three. Single crochet. So after we do three chain three spaces in a row, you always have to do a chain five. So you decide if it's two chain fives or one chain five based on whether you're at a corner or not. This is not a corner, so it's a chain five. And it's a jump across, one, two, three. 
do the cross. And then we'll do our threes again. One, two, three. Skip, single crochet. One, two, three. Number two, skip, single crochet. One, two, three. Number three, skip, single crochet. Now we're going to finish our the last corner or the first corner, whichever one you want to call it. There's half of a corner. One, two, three, four, five. Skip, single crochet. Tighten that up just a smidge. And now just to make it nice and even, close it up. We're just going to slip stitch into that original chain five space from this round. So there you go. Chain five in every corner gets two chain fives. Right here, right here, right here. After the chain five there's always three chain threes. After your three chain threes you have to do a chain five whether you do one or two depends on if you're in a corner. So again, up here, I did my chain. There's a corner. I needed to jump over two spaces before I got to another corner again. This one we're jumping over one. That's how we increase. It's really, 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 really easy. Gets to be pretty no-brainer after a while. So this is round one of our four round repeat. Every round will be exactly the same. All right, so just like we did here, when we put 10 double crochets in every chain five space, that's what we're going to do again. So we're going to chain three, which counts as our first double crochet and then add nine more to this. So that was one and two because the chain three space counts. So I'm at two. There's three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. So there's our first 10. You double crochet in the chain 5 spaces and you single crochet in the chain 3 spaces. Always remember that. Don't wonder, oh, I wonder if I'm supposed to double crochet in the, You never double crochet in the chain 3 spaces. Only in the chain 5 spaces. So then we jump into this double, this 3 chain space and single crochet. Chain 3 single crochet, chain three, and single crochet. So now we reduce that down to just two chain three spaces and we're at a five. So if it's a chain five space, what do we do? Has to have ten double crochets in it. So there's one. Just jump right in. One, two, and ten. There you go. And these are chain three spaces, so they only get a single crochet. Single crochet. Jump right in, single crochet. One, two, three. Single crochet. One, two, three. And a single crochet. Uh oh, five chain space. Okay, if it's a chain five chain space, it gets ten double crochets. And this is a chain five space, so it also gets 10 double crochets to go right into it. Nothing in between. So technically, you were doing 20. That would be number 11 for this corner. And 10. So you always double crochet 10 into each chain five space. This is round nine. 
six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Just like we did before, you want to slip stitch into the chain three, one, two, three, to close up this round. It was round two of our four round repeat. Now just like we did here, right here we put, we just added these, ten double crochets in every five chain space. Now we're going to put a double crochet in the top of everything. Every double crochet is going to get a double crochet on top of it. So find your, make sure you get started in the right spot. This one's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We're going to chain three, and this one counts. So we're going to go into, again, chain three. That counts as a stitch. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So you want to work into the top of this guy right here. Boom. With the double crochet. So there's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And that's probably the trickiest spot. When you're starting the new round, it's just easy to stop back here and count your stitches so you don't skip a space or you don't add an extra. That's really the hardest part, hardest part probably, because everything else is pretty self-explanatory. Double crochet in the top of every double crochet, single crochet in the chain three spaces, chain three in between, there's another chain three space so it's to get a single crochet. Now we want to get a double crochet in the top of every one of these, so you'll have ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Now we're at chain three spaces, get a single crochet with three in between. And these we're going to get a double crochet on top of every other double crochet. So just find your first double crochet from that previous round, which is this guy right here. And double crochet all of them all the way around the same, around this corner. You'll end up with 20. And so we're going to finish off our row, or round three of our four round repeat. There's where we started, because it's way bigger. Don't even need stitch markers, I love it. Find your first double crochet from that round. We're going to add ten more here, one on the top of each. we we'll put a double crochet in the top of a double crochet. And one more right here. And then we'll have to close that up. So we're going to slip stitch into the third chain. Just to close up that round. So there's round three of our four round repeat. So just like we did here, double crochet, ten double crochets in our chain five space. And then we just did this one, which is double crochet on top of everything. Now, surprise, a double crochet with a chain space in between, just like we did in this round. That's our round four of our four round repeat. So again, with chain three, like we always start out with the chain three, 
and then we're going to chain one more for that chain space. And to make sure you're in the right spot, so you don't have to frog out everything, find your last double crochet, which was this one right here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and this one's there. There's ten. This one counts, so we want to start in the top of the very next spot. Oopsie. We want to start right here, so we're going to double crochet right there. So this is round four of our four round repeat. One, two, double crochet, and a chain. Double crochet, and a chain. Double crochet, and a chain. Hopefully that sounds familiar, because we've already done that. And this should be our last one. So it doesn't get a chain afterwards, it's just a chain in between. So let's make sure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Perfect. And jump to the next band. Ugh, my yarn is all tangled here. So we want to make sure that we're in the right spot. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You'll be able to tell. That one is definitely a double crochet. This is not. And again, double crochet, we just jumped over that, with the chain. Double crochet, chain in between. Double crochet, chain in between. Double crochet on top of every other double crochet with the chain in between for this round. See how easy this is? It's just repetitive. It's so simple. almost to the end of our round four of our four round repeat. And there's my last stitch. Still want that chain. Slip stitch into chain three. There you go. Now if you want it to be done with it right now, then you just finish off. I suggest that this is this this would be the finish off spot. This is the best finish off spot. If you wanted to go around again, this would be a perfect opportunity to change colors if you needed to change colors again or you can do another round of the same color, it doesn't matter. Again, if you wanted to change color, just pull that one back out and slip stitch with the new color. Just like this, but with the new color and you're done. And then you go back to round eight. You do eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Eight, nine, ten, and eleven. Those are just repeating all the way around. So we'll be adding in our five chain loops and chain three loops and more five chains and more chain threes, more chain fives, more chain threes. Every time you come to one of these little dips in the road here, this is a five chain space. This would be a five chain space. This is a corner. So you're going to have two five chain spaces. You see how that works? It's so simple. It's so easy. I just love it. And here's my, here's one we just did today together. It's so pretty. I know he's tiny. But here, Set this one aside for a moment. This is my baby that I've been working on. This is four skeins. I'm working on skein number four of my premier puzzle. Just getting bigger and bigger and bigger. But there's the middle. And look at the corners. Corner, 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 corner. Isn't that beautiful? I'm at the point now where in between my corners I have one, whoopsie, 
there's a corner and way over there is a corner so you see how many spaces I have in between I am down to the point of one two three four five six seven it looks like so I'm on my seventh or eighth round of my four round repeat and I'm gonna go until I'm out I have three more skeins of my premier puzzle um, crossword I was able to find four more because I ran out while I was sick so I was just tiny but then I found four more so I'm very excited so there is that beautifulness don't be afraid of the virus virus blanket is one of the easiest and it looks pretty fancy people will be kind of impressed that you figured out how to do it but it's really not hard everything is repetition Remember, if there's a double crochet, you double crochet on top of it. If it's not, if it's a, if it's a chain three space, just gets a single crochet. You'll catch it really, 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 really fast. I promise. So there you go. Thanks for stopping by. Thank you for supporting my small business. Um, thanks for, for waiting for me. I've been gone for about a month, so <laughs> thanks for waiting for me. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Tell all your friends and come back. I have a whole bunch of really fun stuff that's coming up that I've been working on over the last month even though we were not filming I was still working hard for you so come back soon I'll see you I'll see you very soon have a great day bye